Hello, everybody. Oh, I'm looking up. I need to. I'm looking up this way. I don't need to look up that way, do I? I need to look like right here. That's so hard because I want to look at myself. <laughs> so crazy. Ooh, doing this horizontal is weird. Hello. Hold on. I'm bringing my girls on with me. Hold on. Hold on. Did I do it? Ooh. Did I do it? Nope. Hey, y'all. Hang on just a minute. Bear with me. Hey, everybody. I hope I can see comments tonight for pity's sake. It's adding, 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 adding. Melissa, <laughs> where are you? Where are you? Y'all bear with us. We're trying. I know y'all laugh at us. Don't you laugh at us. <sighs> Look at our live viewers. Oh, I see all your, I see all the little things come up, but I'm trying to add Melissa. Hold on, Jenny, I'm going to add you in a minute. Hold on. It's, it's, why is it not adding? Oh, no. Can I add another person? Y'all hang with me. Hold on. Oh. In not working. Hold on. Why it not working? I'm trying. Y'all hang on, bear with me. Ooh, maybe that'll work. Hey y'all, I see comments. <gasps> Is Melissa gonna be on with me? Did it work? Y'all please bear with us, we're trying something new. Oh, seven Nebraska time. Hey Nebraska. Oh my gosh. I can't add my girls. Hold on. I hope y'all are bearing with me. Please be patient. We're doing something completely new. Is it, hello, why is it not working? Okay, let's try this. Y'all bear with us. We have something we want to tell you and a couple of somethings actually, so just hang tight. Don't get bored with me yet. I have no music. I should have music while we're done. I have a person. <laughs> we both got our glasses on. <laughs> hey. We do. Hi. Let's see. Hey. I, I, I cannot get Melissa on here. Hmm. Huh. Okay, everybody, please be patient with us. It says that I can't get Melissa at this time. Oh, okay. no. I don't know what to do. I don't know so, either. So, Melissa, you're out there in oblivion. I have no idea where you are. I can't do it. Request to join. I've been doing that. Yeah, Jennifer, I've been doing that. Oh, man. Okay, Wells. Hmm. <laughs> hey, maybe if I get off and then you try to re-add Melissa first. Do you want to do that? Uh, well, I did that. I did try to add her first because hmm. her name popped first okay um yeah you can probably on, do one at a time i know but i don't know numbers to oh i'm still trying to figure out allow viewers to oh well y'all this is um hold on hold on let me try it another way all right melissa i sent you a request y'all are so patient with us you gotta sit there oh Try it again. Oh, you can only do one at a time. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I all right, right. go off. You want me to go off? Look, we got you on. Let's just do this. And then I'll okay. get Melissa on it. Okay. So let me tell y'all why we wanted to do this. We were hoping that all three of us could be on at once, but obviously can't do that. So thank you for being on with us. Thank you for being patient with us with our technology difficulties. Um, and happy Wednesday night. Yay. So exciting. Okay, so we, okay, so Jenny's part of this is she had something at her house last night, and it was so amazing, and I want her to tell you about it, because I think some of y'all might want to do this. In fact, there's a group in North Carolina that is already doing it. Um, so, Jenny, you tell them what you had going on at your house last night. So exciting. Okay. Hey, y'all. Um, happy Wednesday. Um, thanks for listening to us for a minute. <laughs> um, yeah. so, so, last night... Um, I had 11, well, counting me, it was 11 ladies here at my house. Um, I live in Podunkville, North Georgia. <laughs> 
And if you're not from the South and you don't know what podunk means, it means can't nobody find it. <laughs> in the woods. It means in the woods. <laughs> in the sticks. In the sticks. And so <laughs> most people out here where I live do not have um, good enough internet service that they can watch any kind of video online. Like they have satellite internet. So they can't watch you know, videos on YouTube, they cannot watch live Facebook videos, anything. Um, and if they can get it for a little bit, they're using up their cell phone data. So they're not going to do it. So anyway, the Lord laid it on my heart a few weeks ago and I prayed about it. And I talked to the, there's a lot of ladies at our church. They were super excited about what's going on in our group here on Facebook. And so I invited anyone that wants to join to come over to my house on Tuesday nights. We meet at seven o'clock and what I've done, my awesome husband bought me a really good HDMI cable. And so I hook it up to my laptop and we hook it up to the big screen TV in the living room. So everybody can see Michelle's beautiful face. <laughs> and um, of course they loved her just like we all do. <laughs> So anyway, we had a fantastic night last night. We, we, we kind of just had like a prayer meeting too. It was wonderful. Um, we went before the Lord. We, lit, we had lots of time for prayer requests for those people in our community that are sick and different situations going on. And the Lord was here. And these women are pumped up. And so what I'm telling y'all this for is you may be in a situation where you know some ladies that just, they don't have Facebook or they can't get on Facebook, but you could be the perfect um, vessel that the Lord can use to bless these women. Uh, Y'all, this is way bigger than any of us, okay? This, oh, is all, yeah. this is all for God's glory. And so I truly believe that hospitality is something that we've gotten away from. And God teaches us in his word that we should be keepers of our home. And part of that is honoring our husbands by being hospitable. I read something one time and it challenged me to my core. This woman, her husband was not a believer and he worked with some nasty, dirty men, okay? Mm -hmm. But he always wanted to bring these men home because he would brag about his wife to them and talk about how good she cooked and she was beautiful and she kept a good house. And it aggravated the snot out of her to have to feed all these dirty, stinky men that he worked with. But do you know what? God convicted her and said, do it for my glory and I will bless you. So she continued to do it. And those men could testify to that husband's, you know, word. And, and it built that husband up to the point that his heart softened and he received Jesus. So women, ladies, we need to understand that part of our witness is our home. It's right here in our home. And opening yeah. up the door when it's not convenient, because let me tell you, seven o'clock with five children is not convenient for me. <laughs> but God is good and he's faithful and he fills in the gaps where we can't. So I just wanted to encourage y'all to think about that, pray about that. And you never know what God can do through you. He can use you in a mighty, mighty way even if it's just you and one other person, one other sister that needs to hear this truth that can't, you know, get on like we're getting on here. So anything else? I don't, I don't know what else to say, but that's pretty much it. That, that is amazing. And I'm seeing a couple of people, you know, talk about the excitement through the comments and saying, yeah, I would like to do that in your, in your home and girls do it. Just do it. I mean, you don't have to go through us. All you gotta do is just, Stick the videos up and run an HDMI cable to your TV. And, um, you know, it's pretty simple. Um, so yeah, like last night, what we did, because a lot of the ladies, they just got their book for the first time last night. So what I did is we had a time of prayer, and I basically explained how everything works a little bit. 
And then we watched Michelle's video um, where she gives her testimony and tells their story. And that really set the stage for these ladies to understand who Michelle is. I know Michelle, I've known her for 20 years, but they've only heard what I've told them about her. And um, so this really softened their hearts. It, it gave them ears to hear, hearts to receive. And um, so it was a beautiful thing. And so next week, they're going to read the chapter one and, and the beginning, the power and all that this week. And so it'll be just like when we started in the beginning. They'll be ready next Monday night to discuss chapter one. So we'll play the video. And we and so and, and one thing we're probably going to do is since some of the chapters are short, we may combine a couple one week so we can get caught up to where we are in the group right now. So yeah, that's it. That is so encouraging too because there's a lot of people who are like, well, I can't catch up and I feel so behind. There is no behind in this. No, 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 no. You are not behind. No matter where no. you are, you are not behind because the beauty of this technology and praise Jesus for it is that we, we're doing this. The videos are there. You can go back and do it at your own pace. And if you start a group, you can start from the very beginning and That's you right. can share some of the things you've already learned, but please honor this request for me. I, I please. Don't let, if you do this in-home thing, and I know Jeannie won't, so I'm not even worried about that. I'm talking about the rest of y'all. <laughs> do not let this turn into a uh, gripe about my husband. Oh, and no. And that was one of our like number that. one rules. <laughs> yeah. they, this is not a slam your husband fest or a slam men fest. Or We're open for prayer, and if they've got some concerns and anything that they want us to be praying about, it's just like this group. It's a safe place. I told that's him right. anything that's talked about in my home stays in my home. And, you know, it's a safe place. And, and you know, I've really prayed about this. So I would encourage all of you, anybody that's considering it, to go before the Lord and seek him. And he'll, he'll prepare the way. He absolutely will. Yeah, he will. I'm so excited. This is really a great, and someone said just a minute ago in the comments, and yes, y'all, I can see my comments. I'm so excited about that. But um, <laughs> someone said, multiply. They put that word, and they put, you know, explain. This is what that is. This is multiplying this and getting it out there. And even if, like, okay, like in Jenny's case, the, the group of ladies she's with doesn't, they can't get internet. They can't do that kind of stuff, so it's hard for them. So, but maybe you have a group who can do the internet and you can add them to the group on the page, but y'all just want to get together and do it together. That's cool too. You know, I mean, there's endless ideas you can do with this. That, and a lot of these women, they're on Facebook. And so they, maybe if they're in town, you know, they might can hop on their phone and watch something like what we're doing right now, you know, but it, as far as, you know, being able to go home and commit to watching the videos, it was just, it's just impossible for them. So they're still in the group, the ones that have Facebook, and they're, they're getting, you know, they're getting in with us, and they're feeling the spirit and the sisterhood. So that's wonderful. Um, but that, that's one of the beautiful things about it. It's like you said, it's at your own convenience, but this is a way, sorry, my kids are trying to come in here, of course. <laughs> Don't lie. I'm like, no, stop it. This is my time. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but that was one of the things is that, you know, this provides an opportunity also to touch each other, which, you know, we know the power of touch. And the Bible says, where two or more are gathered in my name, there I will be. Well, let me tell you, the Lord was here last night. <laughs> and, Ooh, it, yeah. and so I truly, we've agreed that this is revival. And, you know, if you read the New Testament, the new church, the New Testament church, it started in small groups and homes, and and we are seeing a revival, ladies. So yeah. if if you feel led to do this, do it, do it. Amen. I love it so much. <laughs> okay, so I think we've covered all that there. Yeah. If if all hearts are clear on this little front, we will hop you off and hop Melissa yep. on. Okay. Y'all later. We will not be on tomorrow because the three of us are meeting for an admin business thing. And we might sing for us. 
Hey, we not. Yeah. So y'all, if you're at work and you miss it, you gotta come back. But we might stay in town for y'all tomorrow night. Mm, we might. Okay. Okay. Love you, Jenny. Okay. Okay. So now on to our next little tidbit of business. I'm gonna try and get um, Melissa on. Hold on just a second, y'all. She got some stuff for you. Don't leave us. Don't you leave us. Oh, do, oh. Please let. Okay, here we go. Is it gonna work? Thank y'all for bearing with me. Okay, I'm trying. Let's hope it works. Lord Jesus, in Jesus' name, we need Melissa coming in on this page. Hit me, Jesus. Hit me, Jesus. <laughs> I did your approve request thing, Melissa. It's still saying adding, adding, adding. Y'all, please be patient with us. Sorry. Um, we got some pretty good admin news to share with you. Oi. Okay, let me try it another way. Hold on. Hold the phone. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Okay, let's try it that way, Melissa. Thank y'all for being patient with us. This is probably the most, not the most riveting video we've done. Melissa, your phone is not looking. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's going on? Oi. Okay. I may have to try to remember some of the things that she was gonna do and we're just gonna have to deal with it and if somehow or another she pops in that's great but it's not working right now so so you don't have to just sit and watch me stare and wait for her to come in I'm gonna try to remember a couple things for her I may say it wrong I hope I don't <laughs> okay so we had a post um, for book angels back a couple weeks back and Oh my gosh, so many of you have uh, have donated books and sent books and you've been a book angel to someone. So amazing. I I just can't. It's amazing. So there have been a few people who had had a financial need for a book and um, they didn't receive it. So um, yeah, Melissa probably could go on and tell a little bit more about that. If nothing else, we'll do it tomorrow when we're all together. Um, she can explain a little bit more about that maybe after we sing a song she can explain all explain all that tomorrow but um the other thing that we did want to share about is that we do have the hotel situation secured Yay! okay so we are going to be sharing all the details about that after this video is over we have got three hotels um in the cartersville area not too far from the conference center that one of the hotels we have the entire hotel y'all i don't y'all need to give me some hearts or something that's good we got the whole entire hotel there's like 124 rooms i think in it and we've got that whole entire hotel blocked for the conference um we also have another one that has a 29 room block for our group it's a group rate for us and then a 63 room block in another hotel all the hotels are going to be listed their address, their phone number, all of that. Um, all three of the hotels have a breakfast of some sort, a free breakfast, um, and it ranges in price anywhere from $68 up to $99. I think my comments went away. I don't see them anymore. Um, so, oh yeah, there there is. So um, those are really, really, it's, it's amazing. That is amazing. So um, if you need a room, we're about to send you all the information you need. So I'm so excited. So when you call them, I think all you have to do is say um, you're with the Glorious Marriage Revolution Conference and you will get the group rate. So yay, how exciting. All right, um, and I guess, let's see. What was the other thing I wanted to say? Oh yes, the reminder that the conference link, the e Eventbrite link for the conference is in the pinned post, okay? So, Anybody that you need to share that with, share it. It's in the pin post. Um, then also I want to remind everybody too, because there's still some people asking where the videos are and where the assignments are listed. They are in albums. Um, and let's see. Nope, it's not working, Melissa. She tried again, it's not working. Okay, so they're in albums at the top of your, your phone and you just click on there and the assignment should be there, the video should be there. Okay, um, 
now that we're at the end of this, I feel kind of strange saying this because if anybody's still hanging in there with us, bless your heart. But um, we do not want to give any video ever at any time to without saying if you are not secure in your salvation. If you've been hearing us talk about the Lord and you, sorry y'all, this is, I'm not used to doing it horizontal. Um, and you need to talk about your salvation. You need to know. You need to put in the message to us, urgent, okay? And we are going to call you. We've talked to several people. We want to know that you know that you've got your salvation secured. Okay, one last time before we get off. Melissa's trying, so let me try to approve her request. Let's see if she can get on real quick and share about the book thing. Y'all, thank you so Oh! Hearts and lights and yeah, fear. We yeah, waited so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, I feel so much better now. I know you're probably oh, freaking out. Okay. Oh, they're about to they're about Can you to hear me? Yes. Okay. Books. So I heard a little bit of what you were saying, but I can't I have no idea what all you were saying because I had to reset my whole phone. So um, Okay, I really cover it very well just go okay so here we go if you have sent me a message and said that you needed a book and I have told you you have a book coming and you have not received that book message me right now if you have sent me a message and said that you will be a book angel for someone and something came up and for some reason that you can't send that book it's okay just send me a message because we've got someone waiting on the book that you were going to send so just send me a message and we will take care of that um, we've got so many people that want to want to donate books so if something happens and you can't do it it's okay just shoot me a message and we'll get somebody else to do that if you still need a book and i have not <laughs> if you need a book and you have sent me a message and i have not responded it, they have gotten lost. We have had some emails deleted. So if you need a book and I have not said you have a book coming, send me another email. Same thing where if you have um, said that you would donate a book and I have not responded to you, send me another email. And the email address is gmrppw at gmail.com. So that's the, that's the um, book part. So we're going to make sure we get everybody taken care of, and we want to get you taken. I'm almost caught up with that, so I'm so excited. So, um, so yeah, I want to make sure everybody that needs a book has gotten one, and everybody who wants to donate is on a list because we have people that are added every single day. So if you've been added recently and you can't get a book, you know what? You're going to send me your name and your address, and you're going to tell us what your situation is so we can pray for you, you know? Um, so make sure you do that in the email. Um, have you covered ticket sales? Oh, no. For the conference, y'all. Okay, so I got to tell you this. This is so exciting. We have got 1,000 tickets. That's it for this conference. That kind of has just happened. And, you know, you know, we only launched it the other day. These tickets are going so fast. So yes. if you want to come to this conference, oh, my gosh, y'all, you've got to get your ticket because I'm so excited. I, I told Michelle, I said, I wish it was this weekend. I know. I can't wait to hug all of you and see all of you and do all that. That is going to be so much fun. So, and, and it's amazing, y'all. The Lord is in every bit of this. If y'all, I can't wait till y'all hear how this whole thing came together. It is, I mean, it will just, we just sit and laugh because yes. he's so good. You know, it's, <laughs> it is all God ordained. So yes. he is definitely going to be at this uh, conference. So you do not want to miss it. There's going to be all kinds of surprises. It will definitely be a weekend. You will never forget the rest of your life. Yeah. So, um, okay. And another thing real quick, and I know you can get back to yours, but did everybody see the conference table post? I'm so excited <laughs> about that too. So there is a post on this page. It's called the conference table. And what that is going to be for is for you to go in and meet the other 999 <laughs> ladies that are going to be there with you. Um, it's to, to find roommates, to find travel partners, to find rides from the airport to Cartersville. Um, anything that you want that has to do with the conference, you put it on the conference table. So that is, we're very, very excited about that too. And yeah. um, okay, so the hotel, did you tell about the hotels that's going to be posted after this? Yes. Okay, we got, we got 
blocks of rooms. Okay, and this is something that we, this is just a, we're, I'm just going to put that out there because I know that God is able to send us the right person. Um, but we have kind of jumped into this head first. And apparently we need to file for a nonprofit organization. <laughs> we don't know anything, y'all. If there is somebody that is in Georgia that knows how to help us do this or knows what we need to do, the legalities of it, we are just praying that, that the Lord sends you to us and that you can help us because we we just thought we could do a conference and that would be okay. <laughs> Apparently not. There's a lot to do and people are asking if we have these forms and we don't even know what they mean. There are all these numbers and letters and it makes my head hurt and we just need help. So if you um, know how to do this, if you know um, somebody that can help us, um, you know, and would be willing to donate their time and efforts, that would be amazing. So please private message me. And um, I will call you immediately, please. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, and, and I know there's a um, comment saying, where do you sign up for the conference? If you look in the pinned post, there is a link that you click on. It will take you to um, Eventbrite, where you can purchase the ticket through Eventbrite and get your ticket secured. So I'm telling you, tell everybody, because when they're gone, they're gone. And I don't want anybody missing it. So yes. y'all, and thank y'all for letting me jump on. Yes, that's exciting. I know. I know. Okay. Else, did I miss anything? Um, not that I can think of. Not that I can think of. Okay. Um, so before I'm not gonna get you off yet. Just hang with me for a second. Um, the last thing that I wanted to share with y'all is just so you know me. It's always got to come back to. They do that. Melissa's the admin. She takes care of all that <laughs> stuff. So all that, you can just give her a woo give her a praise and hallelujah for it. But um, so I wanted to share with y'all a little tiny bit about praying. Like all day long, I have been thinking, I've seen some messages to me today talking about, you know, just struggling to find the time to pray and all this stuff. And can I just tell you, if you are the mama of littles or you work or you whatever it is that you do that consumes your day can I just tell you find time in the day to pray while you're doing what you're doing I remember when I was uh when I was little <laughs> when my kids were little and I had nothing but poopy vomit laundry around me all day long or some kind of something I was constantly doing or wiping off some sticky thing or there was something going on constantly where I was always doing laundry, doing dishes, doing cleaning something, unclogging a toilet, something like that. <laughs> and I found this book that was called Learning to Pray While You Put Your Laundry Away. And it was just this little bitty book and it was easy to read. And it was so profound to me to just pray while I'm doing laundry, while I'm unclogging a toilet, while I'm making a bed, while I'm putting clothes away. If I was in one child's room, I was praying for him. If I was in the other child's room, I was praying for him. If you are a stay-at-home mama and you've got that going on, let me challenge you to do that. Pray for your man yeah. as you're making your own bed. Pray for him while you're putting his clothes away or while you're moving the shoes that you've tripped over. <laughs> Or picking up the underwear that he just decided to take off and step out of and leave them where they were. Or cleaning out his whiskers or toothpaste stuff out of the sink. Instead of getting mad, pray for him. What a concept. Wow, right? Pray for him. And that taught me so much. If you are a working mama, pray on the way to work. Pray when you have a break. Pray when you go to the bathroom. Pray for your husband. Pray for your children. Do this, okay? There are ways. You don't have to be, and I said this in a video once before, you don't have to be in a setting where you're like, Lord Jesus, and you're not, you know, and you just, it's an ongoing conversation. He's your best friend. Melissa and I almost are to the point where we don't even say hello when we answer the phone. We're just start talking. You start talking. And that's kind of how it is with the Lord. You just, you don't have to start off with this, eloquent thing and end with amen every single time he is your best friend talk to him all the time and whatever he lays on your heart that your husband may be dealing with at that moment pray pray right then whatever it is learn to listen to the nudges of the holy spirit pray right then and that is all i had to say tonight that is it that's all
So I'm thankful that you guys were patient with us. Thank you for that. Our technology, technical difficulties, whatever. <laughs> and we love y'all so much. I and we cannot wait to hug you. Like yes. physically get our hands on you and hug you. And can we just go ahead and give a little disclaimer right now? We're going to cry <laughs> a lot at this conference. So if you come up to us and we're just all like smeared and gross and we got like eye boogers and stuff like just love us anyway, okay? Just love us anyway. <laughs> and you know what? If you're like my niece, you can just say, hey, you got something on your face. <laughs> just tell us, and we'll wipe it off, and we'll move on. We are real, <laughs> and we're going to hug you. We're going to love on you, and we're just going to, oh, my gosh, it's going to be so great. So we love you guys so much. Keep fighting. Yes. Change is coming. You do have a glorious marriage. Do have a glorious marriage. Love y'all. Bye. 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 Bye.